my channel guys, my name is James Makinson. Today I decided on doing something a little easier. I decided on hopefully something that you're going to like. We're going to be making what's called a bikini sandwich here in Catalonia or what they call a sandwich mixto in the rest of Spain. The first time that I heard about this sandwich was my first week cooking at Hotel Arts and Hotel Arts is the Ritz Carlton in Barcelona. It's also the biggest and the tallest building in the city and it's something that, trust me, you won't miss it when you uh, fly into the city. You can see it even from the plane when you approach. But the first time that I heard about this sandwich, I honestly thought I misunderstood them or something because they were speaking in Spanish and it was like my first week and they said, James, we need to make like a thousand bikinis. And I was thinking to myself, what do you mean a thousand bikinis? We don't make bikinis in the kitchen. And then they obviously showed me what it was and it's more or less a different technique and a different concept on a very classic grilled cheese sandwich. It's also something that you can see when you go to tapa bars or restaurants, more specifically in Barcelona or in Catalonia. And even when you go to a few Michelin star restaurants, sometimes they will have bikinis for the appetizers and you will see a gourmet version of them which is something that we're going to make today and i'm going to show you how to make it so before we get going be sure to like the video down below subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done already and be sure to check out the rest of my videos that i have on my youtube channel so let's get started okay so first i'm going to show you how to make a normal sandwich and then i'm going to show you how to make the gourmet one this is all the mise en place that we need for both but first, we're going to cut the brie. You can put your knife under hot water if you want. It helps to cut it. And we're just going to make a few slices. Cut very, very, very thinly. Okay, now for the truffle. You don't have to use truffle if you don't want. This is gonna be for the nicer sandwich. Um, and if you are using it, you just need to use a little bit. So I'm gonna take the small one and we're just going to slice it up. Just a few slices will do. And since this is going in the nice one, I'm just going to add the truffle to the butter. You want to make sure that when you're using your butter, it's going to be either at room temperature or you melt it before. All right, now for the bread. We are using white bread. Yes, it's the most unhealthiest. If you don't have white or if you don't want to use it, you can substitute it. But this is what they make the bikinis with here. And as you can tell, this is what we also use professionally. These are cut specifically just for sandwiches as it's just one single piece and they'll be longer than this they'll be about a foot and a half to two feet long so you just cut them up it makes it very easy when you're making these sandwiches for like banqueting and catering so to start the sandwiches we're just going to take two pieces we're going to lay them down we're going to take our normal butter this is for the inside and we're just going to spread it on then we're just going to lay the ham down. You want to lay it flat because these are supposed to be very flat sandwiches. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a sec. And then I'm going to take some manchego cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. Manchego works pretty well with this. I'm going to put a little more butter on it. And again, this is a grilled cheese sandwich, so you can use whatever you want. Put the top on. And then we're going to put butter on both sides. I'm going to cut it in half, we're going to set that aside, and now we're going to make the gourmet sandwich. So, we have our truffle butter here. We're going to mix it up. We're going to lay some butter on the inside. So for sandwiches in America, we don't really use butter. We typically use mayonnaise. And it's funny because the sandwiches, or most of the food in Spain, is um, with oil, not with butter. Once you have butter all over the inside, we're just going to take the ham, and as you can tell, we're just going to lay it down, peel off the plastic, do it again, and then you can take out some of the ham if you want, fill in some of the other spots. Okay, now we're just going to lay our brie down. And put the top on and we're almost ready. Then we're just going to take our saute pan Turn it on, get it hot. We're just going to lay the sandwich down, the part with the butter first. Turn up the temp just a little bit. And then you can put some butter on the other side. So these sandwiches are meant to be flat sandwiches, very flat, like paper thin. 
So what normally and typically what you would do is you would take your spatula, this one I can't really do it because it's plastic, but then you press down while you're cooking it to make these more or less uniformly flat. Now if you're wondering why I'm not using my metal spatula to flatten it, it's because I have this and it's extremely flat so I can't really flatten it down. But this spatula works pretty well but it's a little hard on things like this if it's not bent to flatten the sandwich. So more or less, this is how you want them. They're very easy to make, very simple. Um, you want them about this thickness as well. This is a good thickness. And since they're a little messy now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean them up, square them up, And we're just going to make little sandwiches out of them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I know it's not very healthy, but if you only do it once in a while, it's not going to hurt every so often. Feel free to experiment with it, and if you want to make more of a gourmet style, Hopefully you'll enjoy this little recipe that I gave you. When you visit Barcelona, don't be surprised if you actually see this on the menu at a lot of places. It's quite famous in the city, so you're going to see it when you walk around the town. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of my videos that I have up on YouTube. I have many recipes and I may have some travel videos coming in the near future. Be sure to like the video down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done already, and I'll see you guys again very soon.